I think I got him. Okay. There we go. Oh, you there. Ow! Also, there might actually be a snake inside this anthill. Finally, guys, a good sign. All right, guys, I got my gaiters on, I got my snake stick, and I got a hammer as well. I'm going to show you what I'm going to use it for later on, but let's see what we can find inside abandoned anthills. All right, guys, so this baby is the ideal example of what we're looking for. So basically, I'm just going to use the hammer to slowly and carefully break open this abandoned anthill. So let's see if we can find any reptiles hiding inside it. So you will see I slowly carve around this ant hill so that, so that I can basically lift it like a rock and that will work best you know just to put the ant hill right back and do it as careful as possible so that we don't hurt any of the animals inside. I just flip the ant hill see if we can find anything inside it. And if there's nothing, we can just put it right back. Woo! Ooh. Ooh, guys. Just flip, uh, break, broke this and here. And take a look at that. Our first find. Guys, our second find in the same ant here where I'm going to catch it. It's our first little reptile. One, two, three. Let's go. Now, I don't want this guy to lose its tail. We got ourselves a little gecko. How cute. There we go. I'll just put him right back. All right guys, so far it's not going as planned. I can't manage to find any reptiles inside the ant hills. So right now I'm moving to that side of the hills. Hopefully uh, there is more activity there. Most of the ant hills are pretty loose. They break too easily. And I don't want to break the entire ant hill. I just want to, you know, circle around it with the hammer and then lift it and then put it right back. Guys, I definitely do recommend wearing your gaiters when coming out to the field and searching for reptiles, you know, herpy. Uh, for number one, it really keeps those plants away that sort of hook on your, on your socks. And second of all, you know, it really actually helps with safety. You know, if you might actually accidentally step on a snake or something, those gators will, might block the light, not 100% of the time. But I'm, <laughs> yeah, so I kind of have a, like a Georgia the Jungle type vibe going on down there. Um, and at least that, that also hides it. Yeah. All right, guys. There we have a snake shed. So this is the perfect example. So there might actually be a snake inside this ant hill. Guys, how unlucky am I? Only a snake shed, no snake in here. Well, I lived in a rock, so it's not underneath a ant hill, but here we have a giant scorpion. Heading to my bicycle as we speak. You know it's a tough day guys. Didn't find much. You will probably see me tomorrow at the same spot. See you then guys. Second day, I am back guys. I think I'm gonna lift more rocks today. I still brought the hammer, so I'm still going to break open abandoned ant hills here and there. But um, hopefully we'll find some reptiles today. Guys, I just saw a skink running out of this ant hill. 
Let me see if I can quickly catch him. Oh, there we go. This is called a variegated skink. They are quite common, but um, yeah, I don't really find a lot of them. I usually find speckled rock skink that looks a lot like this little guy. I at least got a gecko before, but yeah, this is the second little reptile. Yeah, luckily I was able to to catch it because these guys are quite fast. Guys, I got a hold of him and he he got a hold of me, <laughs> biting me on the pinky finger there. Ow! <laughs> Alright guys, I didn't flip it inside a and yo, I lifted a rock, but still cool to see this vibrantly orange centipede. And there he goes. Finally, I actually got something good and it ran right under this small rock. It is a agama, so it's the type of lizard. Very cool lizard, I love these guys. Love catching these guys, they're extremely fast. So I am going to try and set up this camera and um, hopefully we can, we can get this guy. We can catch this guy, but let's see. And there we go, caught a agama. <sighs> I haven't yet found a lot of agamas in this area, so this is a surprise. I'd rather imagine catching a snake than a agama. These guys are extremely fast, as I said. At least I got something. Woo! There's my camera still. Look at this, whoa. Almost dashed away there. Take a look at this agama. So it is very pale in color and you can see that this is a fast lizard just by looking at its bolt. Take a look at that slim tail and that strong legs. Uh, you can see that this agama is made to run fast. What a cute little find. <laughs> so I just wanted to get a shot in the sun with this agama. Um, yeah, so these guys are insectivores. They pretty much eat every type of bug that you can find under these rocks great predators of this agamas is actually owls and sometimes even snakes wait let me just put my hat not easy to catch this agamas guys um so i'm super stoked that i actually found uh, uh, uh was able to catch this little one um now they can actually get a lot bigger than this the males are usually quite vibrant with their blue heads um which is quite cool about the, these guys Hey guys, so let me just get another clip of our light to break these anthills open. So I'm just circling it, you know, from uh, yeah, from the sides, so that I can basically just lift. Oh, take a look at that, guys! I thought I saw something run. There we have a, another gama. I think it's a smaller one. Let me try and catch him. Okay, I think I got him. I actually need to break open this anteal a bit more. Okay. That will work. There we go. And there we have our second agama. Yeah, this one we got inside an anteal. That's the first time I've ever caught a agama that was inside an anteal. At least now you're on the end of the second day. I actually managed to find two agamas, that's quite cool. <laughs> it's almost time to head back, so let's just put him back. He's free. There he goes. Alright guys, so I, I'm on my way back. Um, I don't feel like I have enough stuff to actually make a video. I only found two agamas and a variegated skink and a small gecko and you know a few bugs like a centipede and a scorpion or so. There's a lot of rubber laying on the ground in this spot. I usually just drive past this but I decided oh well I can just as well you know stop here and 
just flip everything and see if I can quickly find something cooler than just lizards to show you guys maybe we'll find a snake or something but let me just show you what this looks like the rubber so we have like this laying on the ground here and I have a pretty good feeling that if I flip some of these the chances of a snake popping up is quite big Oh, no ways. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Spotted scarf sticker. I just want the snake to calm down a bit. Damn, guys, can you believe it? There we flipped a beautiful spotted scarf sticker. This big as well. This is quite a decent size for a spotted scarf sticker. I want to show you the snake's belly. Take a look at how bluish it is. These spotted scarf stickers actually got their name from a false identity people used to believe that this snake is responsible for killing their sheep now in afrikaans scarp steeker basically means sheep stinger so people uh, believe that this snake was responsible for killing their sheep yet the culprit was probably something like a puff puff adder a cape cobra or a wrinkles but it is an extremely cool find i can't believe we went from searching for snakes in ant hills to uh, lifting rubber uh, to find snakes what a good find let's let it go i hope you enjoyed this video guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one